Bible. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day if you want to grow. If you want to grow. If you want to grow. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day if you want to grow. If you want to grow. If you want to grow. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day if you want to grow. Good morning and welcome to Sunday School. I hope you all had a wonderful week. Before we get started in our lesson, let us close our eyes for the opening prayer. Our Father and our God, we thank you for another time in your presence. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your love. We thank you that you have brought us together once again to learn at your, at your feet. Bless us with your word. Let us go home rejoicing. Let your words do us good all our days. For your mighty name we are afraid. Amen. Amen. I'm sure you'll remember the title of our lesson today, but I'll remind you. Today, we're looking at lesson 6B, title, Who is Listening? And our Bible text is taken from Luke chapter 8, from verse 4 to verse 15. As we go through our lesson, we would read a few of the verses. Do you remember the memory verse? I'm sure you recited it with mom and dad during the week. But let's remind ourselves once again. Our memory verse says, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I may not sin against thee. Psalm 119 verse 11. Good. Think about beautiful flowers. I'm sure we all love summer. We all love fruits. We all love plants. Some of us more than others. Can you see the picture on the screen? It shows the seed and also the fruit. Look, you can see a banana. You can see apple. All of these fruits, for them to grow, they need a seed. And the seed needs several things to grow. It needs sunlight, it needs water and very importantly it needs good soil so as we go through our lesson today we will look at the story that jesus told the people in the bible time about four types of soil and how we can then compare that to our hearts when we hear the word of god while jesus was on earth he often spoke to the people in parables. Parables are stories that use the things around to talk about heaven. And this lesson today is one of such. It talks about the sower and the seed and also the ground. Jesus was telling the people that there was a sower that went about putting seeds on the ground and there were four types of ground. One of such was what was called the ground by the wayside. Let's read our text. So we're opening to Luke chapter 8. We're starting by reading verse 4 and verse 5. 4. And when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city, he spake by a parable. 5. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. Remember our lesson story. You can think of 
the seed that fell by the wayside, similar to Jan in our lesson. She was not particularly interested in what the teacher had to say at Sunday school. Think of Jan as this balloon. It's empty. There's nothing in it. The words has gone in, but it's not germinated. It's not pro produced any seed. There were a second group that Jesus described. Let's read our Bible again. This is Luke chapter 8, verse 6. And some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. In our lesson story, this verse refers to people like John. They hear the word, they're interested for a little while, so they get a little bit of growth. So you can see this balloon has some air in it. But after a short while, it gets stuck. Nothing else can go in. And even the little um, interest or the little air in it does not yield anything anymore. There is a third group of people or a third kind of ground or soil. We find this in Luke chapter 8, verse 7. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. This refers to people that first received the word. They are happy. They embrace the word. They come to church. Kind of like Benji in our lesson story. But after a while, they get occupied with more things. Our lesson tells us that Benji was more interested in himself than anything else. So you can think of, again, going back to our analogy of the balloon, you can think of it as being similar to this. So initially, they embrace the word, they're happy to receive it, and they come to church, they do everything that they can to be part of church, part of the people of God. The air starts to go out eventually and over time, over time, it goes down and down until it's empty again. This is a third kind of soil or people. There is also a fourth type of soil. Let's go back to our Bible. So this is in Luke chapter 8. We're reading verse 8. And other fell on good ground and sprang up and bear an hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that has ears to hear, let him hear. So this is another set of people. They are people like Tom or Pami in our lesson story. They hear the word of God. They embrace it. They ask Jesus to come into their heart. They love the people of God. They're happy to see them. They come to Sunday school. They read their Bible as much as possible every single day. They pray every day. This is a different type of soul. Think of it as this balloon. As he hears the word of God, as the person hears the word of God, they keep growing and growing and growing in the Lord and on and on. And the blessings of God is with them because they love the people of God. They love anything to do with God and they're willing to embrace the gospel. God is the sower. And sometimes he uses people that tell others about the word of God. So we too can be sowers because God uses us. The seed is the word of God. And the ground or soil is our hearts. So when we hear the word of God and we embrace it, we have been good grounds. We have been good soil. And we can do that through prayer through reading the word of God 
And once we continue to do that, God is faithful and will yield more, much fruit. 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold, as said in our lesson story. May God please come and help each and every single one of us. That is the end of our lesson today. Thank you for listening. God bless you. The key statement for this lesson says, I will grow in the Lord. The activity for ages 2 to 5, call the different things that we need to do to be a good soil. That should make a pretty flower. Ages 6 to 8, match the letter with the word in the box. Our lesson next week is lesson 6C. Who will help? The Bible text is in Luke chapter 10, verse 25 to 37. See you next week. Have a wonderful week. God bless you. Bye. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to your answer class. I believe you had a nice and blessed week. God bless you. The title of the lesson is A Message in the Night. A Message in the Night. We pray that God will teach us by himself in Jesus' name. Amen. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. The test for the lesson is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 9, verses 10 to 19. But we are going to read only verses 10 to 17. Please take your Bibles and read along with me. 10. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias. And to him said the Lord in a vision, Ananias, and he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. 11. And the Lord said unto him, Arise, and go into the street, which is called Street, and inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he prays. 12. And had seen in a vision a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him that he might receive his sight. 13. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he had done to thy saint at Jerusalem. 14. And here he had authority from the chief priest to bind all that call on thy name. 15. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me, to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. 17. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house and putting his hands on him said, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus, that appeared unto thee in the way as thou camest, has sent me that thou mightest receive thy sight and be fed with the Holy Ghost. Thank you for reading. Let us close our Bible. Boys and girls, I have a board here and I would like to drive this nail into the board. Let me try and use my hand whether it will be possible for me to drive this nail into the board. No way, it's not working. Thank God, I got the right tool with me. What's the name of this? tool hammer thank you so much now let me use this hammer to try to drive this knee into the board fantastic it has been done 
just as this armor is the right tool to drive this nail into the board we must be usable instrument in the hand of the lord so that his work can be done boys and girls from the bible passage we are afraid we learned that ananias was a man of god he had the spirit of god that was the reason why he heard the voice of god and he knew that it was god that was speaking to him even though ananias knew about saul that saul was a bad man was a wicked man was the one that was persecuting christian before but as soon as God told him that Saul has been saved from his life of sin, that God told Ananias that he has saved him, he has chosen him as a useful instrument in his hand. And as soon as Ananias heard this from God, he obeyed and was willing to do what God told him to do. Boys and girls, if we are willing and we are obedient to the word of God, God will use us to do so many things for him. God can use us to sing in his house. God can use us to be usher, to be instru a useful instrument in his hand. Boys and girls, let us answer some questions to understand this lesson better. Question one. How will you answer the Lord if he calls you today to work for him? I will say, here I am, Lord. And I know you will say the same thing. Name some jobs that the Lord might call you to do. There are so many things you can do for God. You can play instruments. You can invite your friends to Sunday school. You can participate in the children program. You can even help ushers to clean and to pick hymns. Question number two. What could have happened if Ananias was not ready to answer the Lord's call? There are two things that can happen. God can decide to leave him and use some, someone else. May God not make that to be our portion. Another thing, God may decide to punish him as he did to Jonah and make him to do it by force. We want to volunteer ourselves to do the work of God so that we receive the blessing of God without any punishment. Will you be an effective worker? Yes, by the grace of God. I will be an effective worker. And I pray God will make you to be an effective worker in Jesus' name. Will God's work be accomplished? Yes. Once we are effective workers, the work of God will be accomplished. Question three. In the answer story, we learned that Ananias finally felt a great love for Saul because he realized that the Lord has chosen him. How did the Ananias address Saul after this realization to show his love ananias called saul brother saul that is a safe soul that ananias realized that saul now belonged to the family of god what spiritual lesson can we learn from ananias example this shows us that maybe if we have someone that was very bad before but by the grace of god as soon as that person prayed and god saved the soul of that person we must show love we must make that person comfortable because god has changed that person to a new creature thank god that ananias was willing and obedient to the voice of god and he did exactly what god asked him to do and this brings us to the key statement, which says that I am willing to do what Jesus says. The activity for the week is as shown 
fill in the missing letters in the circles on the five cards. Next, write the circled letters on the machine numbered lines on the memo. Read the memo and put a check on the five cards that show your response. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for primary pass and answer class lessons. Thank you, Jesus, for the words you have taught us this morning. We are praying, Almighty God, that these words, you will use them to save our souls, to write our names in the book of life at last. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our next week lesson is Lesson 77, and the title is A Willing Helper. God bless you. Bye. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining today's Sunday School. We hope and pray you enjoyed. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye.